Imagine a place that serves American, Mexican, and Ethiopian cuisine all in one place. Today on Eat Live Love San Fernando Valley, we're at the Ranchside Cafe in Lakeview Terrace. Let's get to it. So excited to be here. Hey, how are you guys, Scott? All right, well, thanks for having us here. So the first thing that comes to mind is you have a restaurant here that serves American, Mexican, and Ethiopian food. And there's not a lot of Ethiopian food to begin with in Los Angeles. So how did you end up opening in a restaurant serving three types of cuisines? Well, most of the Ethiopian restaurants are in LA area, in the valley. I'm gonna say we're probably at, and now serving the Ethiopian Mexican American is, uh, we started with Mexican and American, but our mom says, you gotta introduce your food to the, you know, to your neighbor, your community. So we added the Ethiopian food a little bit later, but it was the best thing we did. Okay, so like you said, there's not a lot of Ethiopian places Straight here in the bottom. valley, not at all. So yeah. what should people expect when they're trying Ethiopian food for the first time? Well, there's a lot of flavor. There's a lot of flavor in Ethiopian food and it's healthy. You have our vegan dish have 100% vegan, gluten-free bread, which is the injera is 100% gluten-free, and everything is made fresh. Me and my sister literally slave ourselves in this place. So, and it's something that unique and different that you probably have not tasted, the cayenne, the, all the ingredients that we use in there, fresh vegetables, yes, that's what makes us unique. Okay, so speaking of Ethiopian dishes, which one are you going to have me try today? No, I just finished my Ethiopian chicken, which takes four to five hours. And uh, you're going to try that and I will make you our vegan dish. And also the awazi tips usually is a steak. So we actually make awazi tips for our vegetarian people, for our vegan people that's with uh, mushroom, vegetables, a little bit of all those add up. And it's the same flavor, just not meat. This all sounds delicious. Let's go back in the kitchen. The show is all about the food. Let's see how you do it. That's what we're gonna do. Take a look at all this food, so incredibly colorful. All right, so what do we have? Okay, so this is the Ethiopian chicken, which is Doro Wat. That's the one that takes up uh, to five hours or more to cook. The onion has to be caramelized for a long time, and then the cayenne, all the, the spice has to be cooked when it gets to the flavor and what you want to add to the chicken. And we garnish it healthy, uh, our roast beets, with carrots and steamed cabbage and color green, everything is cooked with garlic, ginger, and all that. And what we have right here is 100% gluten free, which is the Ethiopian uh, vegan dish from chickpeas, color green, lentils, split pea, the red beets, and all, and the salad. So everything is very healthy here. We make them uh, every single day, that's what we do. And this is the awazi tips, it's usually with a steak, but we wanted all the vegetarian people to uh, uh, experience the awazi tips idea. So we're switching to mushroom, vegetables, and all that. And then now we have the gluten-free era. So Ethiopian food is, the way you eat it, it's very intimate. We usually, if you go back home, it's not served this way. It'd be a big tray where everybody can gush each other and everybody eat together. Here we do it in uh, portion because our clients are outdoor with the horses and uh, we don't want them to like, it's not easy to do. So we're making it easy for everybody. Right. Yeah, so. So how do you recommend? What's okay. the best way so to go about doing that? Well, the best way to do it, you grab the injera like that, uh -huh. and then you dip your sauce from, you know, whatever flavor you want. You can add this one, you can add this one, and you roll it. 
อันนี้จะตอบกลับใจอินจาร์ Alright so take a take a can take a piece of this Alright and then grab it Yep Good job I think you got it And we also give people fork and knife to make it easy for everybody That's the most important thing we can give you fork and knife if you want to use your fork and knife this what it is that the flavor has to come from your hand not on fork and knife but we do it that way for people in here it's really good a ton of flavor a variety of different textures if you're not familiar with this bread the closest thing i can maybe say it is is it has a texture of a crepe uh almost but it's very cushiony very soft and uh, like you said, here it's it's a little bit free. sour, mm -hmm. right? And ha it has all that combined combined in one. Hey guys, if you're looking for a really cool place out here in Lakeview Terrace, come out to the Ranchside Cafe. Yes, you can get your American food, your Mexican food, but this is really the only spot to try Ethiopian food here in the San Fernando Valley. Otherwise, you got to go out to Los Angeles. So definitely a treat for all of us here in the Valley that we actually have a place like this. Ranchside Cafe, again, they're located in Lakeview Terrace on Foothill, on the corner of Foothill and Osborne. Now, if you like this episode, make sure you like, comment, share. You already know the drill so we can help support these guys. And we look forward to seeing you next time on Eat, Live, Love, San Fernando Valley.